What kind of chance does Okami have to win this fight? What does he have to do to beat Anderson Silva? Well, Anderson's, you know, Anderson lost to Okami before. This is a rematch. They fought once, and Yushin beat him. Yushin's a lot better now, uh, so I can't imagine how he wouldn't beat him again. Um, that's really it. Listen, Anderson ducked him for a number of years like he does everybody. Uh he doesn't want to fight Yushin now. He tried to get out of it. He, he does every time he tries to get out of these fights that are hard. And, and Dana said, no, Yushin's the number one guy, and this is who you're going to fight. Um, so I, I don't think that, uh, that, that that we should all act surprised um, when Yushin beats him. I, I don't think it's going to be an overly competitive match. Uh, you know, again, he, he's already beat him once. He's going to go out and beat him again, in, in my opinion. Looking back on your fight against Anderson, were you surprised how much you were able to hit him on the feet to set up all the uh, groundwork? Uh, you know, I've only seen, I haven't seen that fight in about a year. I, I watched it the day I got home, and I can't really remember much about it. But um, uh, you know, I thought everything was a little bit surprising. I, w- I was expecting more resistance from him uh, in all positions. Yeah, I had some people, I was talking about, uh, you know, rematch down the road, I had some people immediately fire back at me on Twitter saying, well, you know, Anderson was hurt in that fight, so you really you really can't count it. I'm like, yeah. Really? Yeah, well, okay. they don't. Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> <would> <laughs> there that. you go. Exactly. I don't, I don't get that logic. I, well, I mean, I, obviously those are people who have uh, rooting interest. So you, you really believe over the years that Anderson has, uh, has been able to duck a lot of opponents with the help of management? Well, I, you know, I don't think there's any question to it. If, if you look back at Anderson's record, you know, listen, who did he ever beat? Uh, and I know there's an answer to that. That's, that's not to say he's never had a tough fight. But, right. you know, I mean, let, let's be fair a little bit. If you beat a guy and then he ends up getting released from the company, you know, they come out and they, they tell us he's the number one contender in the right. whole world. Right. And then three months later we find out he's not even good enough to keep his contract. Uh, it's kind of hard for the record books to, to really reflect that and, and act as though he's done something impressive. Um, you know, there's a number of guys that, that can beat Anderson and, and have beat him, you know, even in the practice room that he then avoids. And uh, and I don't know that that's a tremendous insult. Maybe, maybe I'm complimenting him there. Yeah. You know, maybe that's the smart thing to do. Mike Tyson did it for, for years, too. You know, they told us Mike Tyson was the world champion. Mike Tyson was never even the national champion. Mike Tyson was never even the best fighter in America, ever. Not for one day of his life, ever. And uh, they told us he was the, the best fighter on earth, so... You know, you, you kind of look at that if, from a fan standpoint. You go, yeah, this guy's really great. You look at it from, from me, one of the guys in the locker room, and I'm rolling my eyes going, come on, this is fake. This, ah. is, this, 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 this hype isn't real. Uh, I wanted to see if you got wind of what Vitor Belfort said after his win against Akiyama. He was saying that, uh, you know what, if Anderson didn't nail me with that kick, he knows what he was, uh, <laughs> what, what was coming. Now, is that ridiculous, or is that the way a fighter has to think? I did hear him say that, and I, you know, might might have wanted him to expand on that just a little bit. I wasn't I wasn't sure where he was at, but uh, you know, I sure thought Vitor was going to win that fight before it started. He, uh, uh, I think he had that fight won. He lost it on the scales the night before. Um, you know, I don't know if you saw those two weigh in, but I, I had a ticket. I bet on. I bet on Vitor. It was it was two hundred bucks. It wasn't a huge ticket, but I did bet on him. I went to the weigh in. I watched it. And I tore my ticket up right there. Nah. Explain uh, explain explain that. What you night. what you see at the weigh in? Well, what did I see at the weigh in? Uh, I mean, listen. They, they they go up. They do the face off, and, and and Vitor takes a step backwards, and and his whole body language changes. Anderson puts on a mask. He taunts him. He points in his face and. Vitor grabs the microphone, and the first thing he says is, uh, you know, crowd, you know, please don't boo this guy. He's a really good guy. Mm. And, um, you know, that's silly. The guy just wore a mask. He just taunted you. He just backed you down. He just put his finger in your face. And now you're pleading with the crowd to, to sympathize with him. Um, you know, I mean, I, I literally I had a ticket. I just took it out and tore it up right there. <laughs> the, the, fight, the fight was over. So, I, And I still think Vitor is great. Um, yeah. You know, I think he's the best guy in in the division, I think he's, you know, he's definitely in the discussion for the best guys in the sport, uh, physically, yeah. you know, for, for speed and accuracy and athleticism and power and strength and, you know, all those little boxes you want to go down and check off the list. Um, I think he's fantastic, but, uh, I mean, he didn't fight that night, and I I think that's going to be a pretty hard sell to, to Dana to, to, to give a guy another shot. 
Well, Chael, I guess uh, that would beg the question. If Anderson Silva hasn't fought anybody, who has uh, Brian Stan fought? Uh, well, you know, you'd have to go through his record or, or ask Brian that. Um, you know, he was a world champion before in the, in the WEC at a different weight class. Um, he's changed weights. I always like guys that change weights. I don't haven't done that myself, but you know, guys like Dan Henderson, guys like Randy Couture, um, you know, guys like Matt Lindland that compete in multiple weight classes. Uh, you know, there's always some fun parody, especially in boxing, when guys do that. They're switching and shuffling around. Um, you know, I think Brian's another one of those guys who won the world title at 205 in the WEC brand. He's, I believe he's ranked number six right now by ESPN in the world at 185. Um, you know, so he's he's done a good job, and and he's not done. You know, he's he's not done either. But uh, the comparison you're making is a little bit different when you compare somebody with the hype of Anderson Silva, who behind the scenes is is picking and ducking and dodging all, all that he can do, you know, versus a guy like Brian Stan that signs his, signs his name on any contract they put in front of him. So, uh, you know, yeah, that's how Yeah, that that's, the, no, that's fair. Come on, fair? Yeah, well, there is a difference between them. Obviously, when you're challenging the, the resume of, of a guy who's branded as the number one fighter in the world, I mean... It's a little different than challenging the resume of a guy who's you know kind of on his way up. No, well, well this is this is uh, Captain America, right? This is the the new Captain America here. Are you trying to get Chael to slam Brian Stan? Is, I, that, is I, that what's happening here, Chael? You I see am what not. Kevin's doing? I'm slamming Chael, but I'm the troublemaker, huh? Okay. Hey, sla- did you hear what he said, Steve? He yeah. said, "No, I'm slamming Chael." Yeah, he's. Sl- uh, <laughs> yeah, I, no, I think that's fair. I like it. I mean, um, you, you, you know, but gosh, it's hard to say. You know, when a guy will just fight anybody. It's hard to pick on them, and there are guys out there who don't have that hard of fight. So you look at it and go, "Geez, they're still pushing up the card." You're, you know, you went from preliminary to main card. Now you're main eventing shows. You're kind of going, "Geez, who'd you fight?" But if if the other side of that is you fought whoever they asked you to, they mm-hmm. just you were just one of those guys that kind of ended up with some some easier matchups. I, I don't think you can fault the guy. Now, I'm not saying that happened with anybody we're discussing now, but I, I am saying you know that does happen sometimes. There is something to, to be said that every time somebody's name comes out of the hat, Anderson says no. I mean, every single time he puts up resistance, I think he goes out and surprises himself. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to be delusional to the guy's skill set. He still has to go out there and win these matches, and he does. Um, but you know, as soon as as soon as he draws me, I mean, they they did everything they could do to proclaim me not the right guy for that fight. Um, he did the same thing when he had to fight Nate Marquardt. He did the same thing with Yushin. Uh, as soon as there was talk of him versus Paulo, he did the same thing, you know, publicly. As soon as there's talk of him and Machida, he did the same thing. And he comes out, and, oh, that's never going to happen, and all the reasons why. And I think that that is relevant from a fan standpoint. Right. You know, for Anderson's pocketbook, it, it's been very smart. So is a UFC from a fan bring- standpoint, and I'm I'm also a fan. Aside from being a five a fan, I kind of look at that and go, "Well, geez, what's going on here?" You know. Right. So is the UFC bringing you to Brazil for the event next week? The UFC is not bringing me. Um, I'm going out with Yushin. But, really? Uh, the, the UFC did not purchase the ticket. Okay, if, but if you are true. you are going to Brazil. I am going to Brazil. So, Chell, do you think they pay attention enough in Brazil to the UFC and MMA? And I saw your video the other day, which was great, with a. Uh, uh, Brazilian, you know, Portuguese-speaking reporter. Do, do they know you enough where you may get a rash of crap when you're down there? Well, you know, I don't know. I'd like to think so. I, I, I like to think that the sport is is big enough that everybody's known, but I don't know if that's a reality. You know, I get so close to the trees, I can't see the forest sometimes. It, it consumes my life, and so I inadvertently think that it consumes everyone else's, and it's just not true. Um you know, I even had family members just as recently as yesterday asking me what date uh, my next fight was. You know, people that would know and should care, and I, I always think they know because I know and I talk about it, and they don't even know when the date is. So uh, I really don't know. You know, you you get, like I said, you get so close to the trees you can't see the forest, almost a level of arrogance where you just assume that people know what you're doing. And it's just not true. It's just not the reality. Pe- people don't always know. And different countries are different. Um, you know, take Yushin, for example. Uh, Yushin is, is by no means a celebrity in Japan. Japan doesn't cover the UFC. A lot of people don't know that. 
They don't. Even in the magazines over there, right. you've got to really search for UFC. And it's out there, but you've got to really go look for it. And when Yushin's in America, uh, I mean, we, we never went to a restaurant, ever. No, it was breakfast, lunch, dinner. We never went anywhere um, where he wasn't doing photographs of somebody. Uh, and he didn't know how to respond. He, it doesn't happen. We have people waiting at the gym for him to show up, and they've, got, they've brought their kids. They've brought things for him to sign. And he... He's the nicest guy in the world, but, I mean, you could tell he he didn't know how to do that. He just hadn't been encountered with that. Um, you know, you guys will probably remember Bob Sapp. They said that Bob Sapp was as big in Japan as Michael Jordan is here. And uh, I think they even, I think they skipped right over Michael Jordan, even compared him to Brad Pitt, said he can't leave his hotel, said he can't, you know, that he's a prisoner over there because he was so big. Whereas in America, he could walk around and uh, no, nobody would, would, uh, would bother him at all so it just depends where you go you know what in brazil i always think of the sport as huge there but i really don't know you know it's not soccer i, I can tell you that much well chell we appreciate it uh, bud uh, have a safe trip to florida and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see you back i'll see you in houston for was it ufc 136 you know i don't know myself but it is in houston and it's october 8th and uh and I look forward to seeing you. I appreciate the time, guys. Stephen, good to talk to you. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Thanks yeah. for having me on, guys. No, thanks for doing CHL, it. CHL, thank we'll you. you. All right, see you, man. Bye. There you go. One of our favorites. Easiest interview in the biz. Gets it. You know, i got to tell you, I'm intrigued by the fact that uh, Chael is working with Okami. I'm not saying that Okami can execute the same game plan. No way. But it's an interesting angle. I just disagreed a little bit with Chell's opinion about Anderson Silva not having fought anybody. That was all. He's fought some good guys. I, I think what's what's accurate, and I have no idea that he's ducked people, um, it has worked out nicely for him that there haven't been elite, great wrestlers, ground and pound guys at, at 185. What that is, is, that is, what is, is Dan Henderson? Thing. Well, Hender, Henderson actually gave him his best round. He, he submitted him in the first minute of the Kevin, second round. Kevin, he dominated him in the first round. He was smashing him and fought like an ass in the second round. He admits that. Henderson, Henderson won the fight. I agree. I mean, uh, Anderson won the fight. Henderson right. won the first but, round. Anderson won the fight. What, what, that's, the, that's the game plan. They though. go by who, who John McCarthy raises their hand. I understand he won, but it doesn't mean that Dan Henderson couldn't get in there and be competitive again. That's, those are the guys who can beat him. He's awesome. If you stand at a distance... Against Anderson Silva, you're dead eventually. He's beaten wrestlers. He's beaten Muay Thai guys. He's beaten jiu-jitsu guys. He's beaten everybody. 